Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSN review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Zombie Apocalypse Never Die Alone, which if you've never played it before, it's a sequel to Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, it's a like top-down shooter only. It's so different to the original Zombie Apocalypse, it's unbelievable. It's more like Dead Nation almost. I think that's kind of what they've tried to go for, a bit of Dead Nation mixed with a bit of Left 4 Dead. Um, it's a decent game, but I personally don't think it's as good as the original or the aforementioned Dead Nation and Left 4 Dead. But still, for the price, it's, uh, well, it's pretty good. I'll uh, start with the obvious. You've got multiplayer and single player. The game's designed to be played in co-op, but you can play it in single player and you just control all four characters by cycling through them. Uh, scoreboards are scoreboards. Downloadable content. Well, if it ever comes out, I'll probably review it, but... You're probably flashing back now to the first Zombie Apocalypse review I've done where I mentioned the DLC and it never came out. It's the type of thing that I almost expected this to be the DLC but then they made it a full-fledged game. So take the DLC at the bottom there with a pinch of salt, it might never happen. Um, under the options you can choose your controls a little bit, you can me mess them around. Uh, there's not much you can do with them, you can't exactly fully well, customise or anything like that. Settings, you can choose the screen size, the brightness, which you probably want it on a bit brighter than usual because some of the levels are really dark and on the lowest setting they're just actually impossible to see what's going on. Uh, I know obviously games are supposed to be dark apparently for scariness or things like that, but when you literally can't see then there's not much point in it. You can then choose sound effects volumes, music volumes, voice volume and subtitles. Uh, you probably want to switch the voice off. Uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. I will show some of it off, but I personally think that the characters in this are so annoying it's unbelievable. Um, under the how to play, it's actually where I'm going to go first, because this pretty much is going to list everything that I would see naturally, and then that way I can just focus on showing off some gameplay a bit, whilst showing off the new things. So, controlling the squad, mentioned that. Zombie bait, each character has a different type of bait. Pure pawnage, each character has a type of pawnage, it basically makes you invincible. You get it after killing a load of zombies. Melee weapons are in the game, I'll show them being used off. Mashup weapons, there's things like uh, super-powered nail guns, or uh, aerosol, deodorant can with a lighter and things like that so hence the mashup part because they're not exactly conventional weapons there's a money and upgrade system each character has their own unique abilities so he uses dual pistols he uses a shotgun he's got quad damage for his pawnage ability she's got auto turret he, um, he's got a molotov cocktail for zombie bait and he's got a boombox so just things like that loads of stuff that has been added as I say to the whole core gameplay it's no longer just an arena shooter like the last one where you got seven different maps and you had to play each map about seven different times to beat the game fully because there were 50 levels or something like that might have been to be fair about uh, eight or nine different times anyway I've got no one sitting here with me so for now I'm going to start a single player game off and just well try and show off the characters these are the voices though tons of awesome weapons then all of a sudden we're like totally surrounded by zombies so we just start like oaring them up with like our awesome skills. Obviously nothing but headshots. Then that like trips, like falls like a total noob. Kinda sucked, you know, because it's not so bad at co-op. Then I see this truck and I'm thinking, who needs dog when I can just blow down all these zombies by myself? Like super easy. I left East LA for MIT when I was 15 and started designing weapons for the military. So that's the voices then and you I'd like to think you can already see why I hate them because I think they're incredibly annoying, I think the script's poor and I just think they're an unnecessary addition. It's the type of thing that I think the game would have ran smoother without it. Anyway, when you choose your chapter you get a load of objectives now because as I see it, it's not just an arena shooter, you do move through the levels, kind of like Dead Nation. So this one here, the objectives are score 100,000 points, completed in under 3 minutes, save the first survivor, kill 15 zombies in the first 60 seconds, and take no damage. Um, survivors are different again to the last game, whereas before they just appear and you just had to shoot the zombies and protect them until the helicopter picked them up, you've now got to escort them to a certain part of the level where they can get evac'd. Um, it's just as I say, the whole game is totally different to the first game, but some of it's for the better and some of it's for the worse. The voice acting and story is definitely for the worse, but the gameplay additions like the pawnage that I've mentioned and the um, baits and things like that and the fact that you're moving around the levels, you're not just doing the same thing over and over again, they're definitely for the better. So I've mentioned a couple new things, I'll go back to mentioning some of the others. If you've ever played the Ghostbusters style game, the, the Sanctum of Slime one, this is very similar to that, especially the fact that you have to go over and 
every now and then rescue one of your fallen comrades. It doesn't matter whether you're on multiplayer or single player, if all four of you die, that's it, it's game over. So you want to try and get over at them and bash the X button to revive them, similar to what you would do on the Ghostbusters game. And you can do it with the survivors, which you just saw is doing it there. Simply, he was hysterical, so I slapped him, and then I was able to rescue him. Uh, other than those things that I've already mentioned, though, to be fair, there's not really much different about this than any other style of game. And to be fair, the things that I've mentioned aren't really different. It's just this is the game's own unique take on the system. Uh, if you like these sorts of games, it's definitely worth picking up for the price. However, it is a little disappointing that it's much, much shorter than the first game. Yes, the first game had the whole seven days mode, which took hours, and it was just doing the same thing. And yes, it had the, as I say, 50 waves of the seven levels. So technically, you could argue that it was only as long as you enjoyed it. But me and me mates loved it. We beat every moment of it. So we got a hell of a lot of gameplay out of it. Whereas this, if you actually add up all of the time that... Like, remember the time bonuses I was saying? Each level's got objectives. If you actually add up all the time bonuses on each chapter the game clocks in at under three hours long now granted it's probably going to take you longer than that on your first attempt unless you are insanely good at these games but at the same time it can be beaten under three hours so you might want to wait for a price drop And rather than doing a there's some music, I instead done a there's the four pornages. Uh, graphically, the game is pretty decent, and musically, when you can hear it, it is okay. It does seem to work well, but mainly you'll be hearing the annoying voices unless you switch them off. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.